Hey guys, welcome to Fitness 101 and today I'm going to show you um, how to achieve uh, your daily goals uh, on your daily basis workout routine. So today I'm going to show you six moves and we are going to have three blocks and one block there will be six moves and you're going to repeat the same six moves on the second and the third block. So in between you can take like 20 seconds rest, um, get ready water or towels, you're going to sweat. Um, so if you have a hard time, um, you know, completing the move, um, there will be always a modification for the move so who is ready with me so let's go ahead and jump right to it so the first move you're going to do a 30 second knee high jump so let's go ahead and start three two one let's go just put your hands right above your waistline just go ahead and touch that you're gonna do for 30 seconds. Less than 15 seconds. Keep going. You're just starting up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There, you're done with your first move. So the second move is going to be on the floor. It's going to be a bicycle crunch. So the second move, you're going to do a 40 bicycle bicycle crunch. So you just put the mat on the floor. Just go ahead and lay down like this. And you're going to put your hands to your head right here. And, you know, if you can't... Uh, do 40 crunches. I know that if you are just starting up, they will have a hard time completing the crunches because this kind it is really involve your core muscles and your legs. So do not push your neck. Don't crunch your neck because we don't want to give that stiff neck later on. So you always use your core to, uh, you know, build up that strong muscles on your um, hips and your abs. Here. So you're going to do like this and you're going to do 40 crunches. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So that's your 40 bicycle crunch. And now we are going to come up and we are going to do one minute wall sit up. So everyone has a wall at your house. Just sit back and just come up to your knee. Four, three, two, one. It's just gonna sit there. It's not gonna move. And you're gonna really feel your thigh burning right here. And I know you wanna give up. But think about this and think this way. If you wanna achieve something, you have to work for it. If all the workout is easy, everyone is gonna do it, right? So give it all you got and you are so much stronger than you think. It's all in your head. So keep pushing. We are less than 24 seconds. Guys, I know it's burning mine too. So just give it and just breathe. Inhale, exhale. Less than 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's your one minute wall sit up. So the next move, hey Oscar, do you wanna work out with me? Yeah, I know, see, he, has, he wants to work out with me. If the cats can't do it, of course you can do it, right? Yeah, I know, buddy. Yep, so at the fourth, uh, exercise is going to be a 30 sumo squat. So, get in positions. We're going 
going to start right up. All right, see you later after. Ready? So you put your legs. Oops, sorry, I almost lost my balance. Put your legs, um, point the toe on the side. And you know, normally when we do squat, we always do this way. But when it's sumo squat, always put your legs. We want to work on the inner thigh here. So ready? Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze your butt. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, one more, 30, sit there, sit there, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, and release, okay, the next move is going to be a 30 shoulder tap, um, so I'm just going to show you what not to do when you're doing your, um, the plank, so you're gonna come down on the floor. You're gonna put your hands, and I don't want to see your butt going up, or I don't want to see going down. So you're gonna be on straight line, and with your shoulder and anchor your feet on the floor. So it's gonna be you know straight and use your core. That's how you're gonna get strength, and you can go much farther. Okay, so we're going to do a 30 shoulder tap. So I'm going to turn around my mat so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and right down. I'm going to use so I'm standing this way. So we're going to do 30 shoulder tap. One.
30 um, second, I mean 30 second jump squat. I'm gonna set my timer, just give me one second. Here is the modification. If you can't jump, you just do like this. Just put your knee up this way. That's the modification that you can do. So 30 seconds. Ready? Two. Less than 15 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, you did it. So don't go anywhere. You're going to do the same six exercise for the second set. So, you're going to do, after once you're done, you're going to do the same six exercise in the third set. And guess what after that? You gotta take, take a shower. And yeah, and also remember, just doing exercise, you can see I'm breathing hard. So, breathe in and breathe out. So once you're done, you just cool down your shell. Just like inhale up, then exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down. And then you can just do your legs stretch because we work hard for it, right? And then just then and just drop down and let your neck hang and breathe and just relax and let your heart rate goes down all right so think this way you are one step ahead from that goal you set for yourself thank you for joining with me guys for today's workout and i'll see you next time bye